You talked about um, education uh, funding, but we also continue to see uh, this battle over the states when it comes, uh, excuse me, all across this country uh, when it comes uh, to books, what books should be taught. Uh, when you look at this constant attack on DEI, this phantom attack on critical race theory, uh, we saw this play out in uh, in, in that uh, election and later Youngkin becoming governor. Uh, and so uh, speak to those issues because, again, those are pressing cultural buttons and, frankly, it's ticking off a whole lot of black folks. Uh, and uh, non-white folks when we see this attack, because many see this as an attack on blackness. Well, it's an attack on the progress that we've made. There's no doubt about it. There are people who want to take us backwards. That is their theme. Anytime you have a governor who comes in and says that Martin Luther King Jr. is too controversial to teach our kids, we have a problem. He took the teaching about Martin Luther King and history out of the K-8 through education. We had to protest and fight to get it put back in. So we already know what they want to do. Anything related to teaching black history in a way that is meaningful and substantive, they want to remove it. They want to take us backwards. What I think they don't understand is that there is a huge uh, majority of white people that want to know that history. They always assume that white people will feel bad and side with the slaveholders as opposed to siding with those who were for freedom because there were many white Americans who were also fighting for freedom so they just assume those children would also can also relate to those folks so we need people to start teaching the full gamut of history we need to make sure that we also are doing everything in our power to continue to increase diversity equity and inclusion the governor had a African-American man who used to manage a check of what he called a diversity and opportunity and inclusion. He changed the name, took out equity. And then that man said, DEI is dead. And we said, you got to be nuts because we passed legislation mandating a DEI officer in the legislation. So what the attorney general did was just simply said, the governor left that position blank and he created this new slot. But they've not done anything to advance that while at the same time going backwards on teaching history, on making these fake cultural wars on our children, by having teacher tip lines where they turn parents against teachers, children snitching, teacher snitch lines, having children snitching on their teachers in the classroom. It all does to undermine public education, to, to, to undermine parents' confidence in public education. And my mother knew this. She had six kids and she was single. And she knew that the path to the American dream led through a classroom. It led through a book. And we know that there are people who are trying to take us back, ban books, ban books on our history. So we're going to continue to fight.